Hello, welcome back to She Living. I am your host, Angela. And today, I'm doing a Get Ready With Me video. So, this will be my first time doing a Get Ready, a Get Ready With Me. So, I'm a little bit nervous, but I'll be fine. This is just the way I put on my makeup. This is just the way I do my makeup. These are the things that I like. Okay, okay, enjoy the video. Okay, so I'm back and I am just trying to get some of the excess oils off my face from the day because I've been recording and, you know, just trying to give my face a little extra cleanse, if you will. That's what I'm doing right now. I know I'm chewing gum. Gum is like I, my cigarette. It calms my nerves. It calms my nerves. It calms my nerves. <laughs> but I always try to um, go in and use my little eyebrow archer. Make sure I don't have any little hair sticking up because I am menopausal. Come on, women. Um, I might have a little uh, little hair jump up from time to time. But it's mainly for me to kind of clean my eyebrows to get ready to put my makeup. You just, I just try to start with a nice, clean, uh, shaven face. I know uh, whenever you're getting a facial... They actually shave your face, like shave all the hair. Because, you know, we cover in hair anyway. But I just try to knock uh, all the hair down and try to trim everything as much as I can. Listen, I am not a makeup guru or any of that. I just like to look pretty and cute. <laughs> Yeah, but so now I'm getting uh, ready to moisturize my face. You always want to uh, kind of put some moisture back into your skin, especially using those makeup wipes because they really tend to dry out your skin. So I try to put moisture, you know, back in my skin. And uh, I think there was a uh, Nivea. Um, cream what I was using. Do anybody else have a problem with the little crusty lips? <laughs> I always have that one little side on my lip that always uh, tend to peel and it is so, so aggravating. And I always have to deal with that one stubborn gray patch that would just not let me be great. It will not, but hey, they said gray is wisdom, right? So I get that makes me smart. I'm going in with some LA color concealer to uh, do my eyebrows. I'm so thankful that I really don't have to like draw in eyebrows because I will be messed up. Do you hear me? I'm watching, um, uh, podcast. I think I was watching uh, Sarah Jake's um, video. That's why I keep looking over. But I always want to try to keep my eyebrows. They were way thicker than this. And if you see, like, if you see my son and my youngest daughter, that's the kind of eyebrows I had growing up. But now my oldest daughter, hers is not as thick. But I'm thankful that I don't have to draw them in. I, I got plenty of eyebrows. Hair. <laughs> look, I don't know what I be doing. I'm just trying to um, look cute. That's my, that's my thing for makeup. I'm like, okay, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just trying to look cute. So... That's the thing. To me, 
Uh, makeup is just however you want to look. However you want to look. That's how it is. And I'm, I'm trying to, you know, shape them as if I've gotten a professional arch. Now, when I get a professional arch, girl, I really be cute. So, yeah. But I'm just trying to uh, clean them up like I got a, getting a professional arch to make them look. And somebody told me that um, your eyebrows are not twins or sisters. They're most more so like cousins, so they're not going to be like identical. But you can tell. You need to be able to tell that they are related, huh? Okay. So I'm just trying to put a little more of that concealer around my eye because I do have uh, some grocery bags, honey. Steve Madden bags, somebody bags. And... Like, you know, got a little raccoon eye going on. <laughs> I got a little raccoon eye going on. So, I'm just trying to um, minimize all of all of that. You know, kind of get in um, the dark circles around my eye. It's something else was said that touched my spirit when I looked like that. See, I think I'm cute already. <laughs> yeah. I think that is a elf brush. I think that's, the, that's that what kind of brush that I'm using. It's uh, an elf brush. And uh, I try, I'm trying, I'm going to try to put all the products that I'm using in the description box. The Stila palette, I got that palette uh, for my sister for Christmas. And baby, that thing was so pretty. I was like, mm-mm, I got to get it. That blue right there is the business. That is um, one of my favorite colors so far. That's, I mean, I think that's what I've been putting on my eyes for the last time whenever I wear eyeshadow. Uh, that is a wet and wild brush. Look at me trying to be all makeup tutorial-ish. Makeup tutorial-ish. Yeah. That blue is banging. I love it. And it looks so pretty on my skin. See that? What? 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 Girl? And it just lay on so so creamy and it has like shimmer in it baby i know it's probably it's to me i think it's like a after five palette but baby i'm wearing it after five after 12 noon morning whatever i love it it is so so pretty yes you better do that blue that blue looks beautiful on me <laughs> but they say no shame in my game if I think it's pretty. But I love it. It's a Stila palette, and um, I got it from uh, from work. If many of y'all know, I do work in the beauty industry. I am a merchandiser. Merchandise like an assistant merchandisers assistants in assistant to the assistant <laughs> merchandiser for Ulta Beauty and I love my job I love it just just people coming in you know always want to look pretty because like the beauty the beauty industry is just not about makeup it's about skin care and hair care and nail care and um body uh care uh, it's your whole thing and the whole thing is beauty you take care of your whole body and to me that is beauty but where that blue 
is popping on my skin. That is beauty. Yeah. See, I'm feeling myself already. And I haven't even got halfway through yet. So, in this moment, I had started getting hot. I told y'all I was having, I am menopausal, so I was having a hot flash. If you can see, you can see my face literally missed up a little bit. When I tell you, those hot flashes is no joke. No joke. So, I have to give myself a minute to come back because, baby, them hot flashes on no joke. See how I like I'm disoriented. <laughs> I had to think about what I was doing. I don't know where I got that palette from. Um, I like uh, I do like it. Uh, it's like a light pink, a brown, and a white. Um, it will. It is a beautiful eye uh, shadow combination. That is a wedding wow. And then some people probably think, why are you using that big brush? I don't know either. But I was just trying to even even my blue to make my blue seem seamless. That was the goal. That was that what I was going for. <laughs> so I just went in with that brown. So I was that's what I was trying to do. Make it seem seamless. I think I did a pretty good job. I think so. <laughs> Girl, I had on my uh terry terry cloth um shower wrap. I love that thing. I went old school on y'all and got the eyebrow pencil, LA Colors, and it didn't need sharpening. So, babe, I went old school. What? I had to sharpen, um, sharpen my eyebrow pencil. To me, it really didn't show up like I wanted it to. Uh, what I was going for, the black didn't show up. Like I thought it would on um on my eyelid. Oh jeez, I'm getting sleepy trying to talk to y'all. It didn't show up like I thought it would, but I just went ahead with it and just continued. Maybe if I had a did a liquid liner it probably would have showed up a little better but oh well tomato tomato so i just i just left it alone and and then i thought about it i see the youtube people be doing that but i can't i got to Get down in there. And a lot of people don't. A lot of people don't use eyeliner anymore. I've been noticing that. A lot of people don't. Use it. They'll put like that white. Under there. A lot of people don't use the black anymore. And um. As you can see one of my eyes. Is starting to get irritated. Like sometimes make up a do that to that eye, but beauty is pain, honey. <laughs> no, just kidding. If if something is causing you problems, it doesn't matter. Don't do it. Don't do it. That is Lancome mascara. I use two, sometimes three different mascaras because I have tried, I have tried 
I have tried. Why am I yawning so much, y'all? I have tried to do the falsies. I just have the hardest time doing it. And especially uh, since I have um, Bell Palsy, I can't. I just can't. I try and try. And so now what I do is just try to find the best mascara and use as many coats as I can and uh, pull my little lashes out. And I could not hardly see like I wanted to. So I'm going to have to resort to using my palette for a mirror. And I'm like, wait a minute. The uh, YouTubers use the palette to put their mascara on. See, I'm trying to see and I'm knowing I can't see like I want to. But I'm trying to spread those lashes out. That blue is popping. Do y'all see that little shimmery stuff in there? Yes. Yes, yes. So I'm trying my best to pull them out. And as you can see, they are. And I am pulling them out. This is uh, Cover Girl. Lash something, but I like it because it has the um, the end of it is like flat and it has two like the bristles on each side, and then it has a round tip with bristles. Let's see, I'm, I can't see it, has a round tip with bristles, so you can like separate those lashes. So yeah, that's what I I like about that. I think it's called... I have to look at it, but I have it in the description box. Below. Below. I love to um, do my makeup. It uh, It's very soothing and it's like transforming, you know, yourself. From, um, I don't like people saying from uh, this to baddie because even in my natural state, I'm baddie. Come on. <laughs> because if you don't have like good skin and stuff like that under that makeup, it's kind of defeating the purpose. And this is no dig, no shade, none of that for nobody else. I just prefer good skin over good makeup. Baby, that's a, a, a word. Good skin over good makeup. And I understand a lot of people uh, you know, have issues with their skin. And I'm not you know, trying to be insensitive or anything like that. But we're talking about just a personal preference. That is my 360... Fit me, baby. That's it. I love that foundation. I love it. And it goes on really smooth and it dries like matte. And I like it. I think that brush is Ollie Chloe brush. Yeah, I think that's the brush. And it like it didn't want to come out. I think that's the brush that I'm using. And um, when it goes on, it goes on real smooth. And it does. It's really good. And I've tried like some of the expensive brands. But I like that Fit Me. I like how it just, um, what what is the big word that they use? Oxidize. With my skin. And it just like. Lay on, lays on. And I like it. 
and it's, you can see it starts looking like it starts to dry. And I like that. I always try to go up to my hairline for my foundation because when I put my wigs on, baby, I don't want it to be separated. Like just go to a certain, nope, I have to go all the way to the hairline so I can make sure that wig is, you know, on right. But I'm looking like a real beauty guru. I'm looking like a real beauty guru. Yes. I'm loving it. I'm loving the look already. And I, I'm looking like I'm really doing some major work. <laughs> Which is so funny. See, I'm still... Because I do not do the falsies. I, I want to just make sure the lashes pop. I want to make sure that they pop and that they say something. Yeah. I know a lot of people put um, mascara on the bottom. I just don't. It just... No. I don't. <laughs> I don't. I just put like a little eyeliner in. Go with it. Are y'all liking the look so far? Are y'all liking it so far? I am into that video too. I really like women that's empowering and women that can really speak. I don't remember what I was saying. I think I, I made a mistake and turned you guys off. But, yeah, this, this was my first time trying a, a lip line or pencil, I think. If, if it wasn't my first, it was it's definitely my second. And I had no clue what I was doing. Honey, I don't know anything about lining lips. I'm just trying to expand my makeup technique. I don't know. But, yeah, I tried it. But um, I actually love that color, though. Uh, it was like brown brownish I don't know I have to look and see what color that was but I love that and I had three different shades of lipstick that I was want to try I had one um NYX NYX and um uh, two LA co uh, LA colors and I could not decide which one that I wanted to put on. So, I tried the first one and it was a no ma'am. No ma'am. No ma'am. No ma'am. It was just entirely too dark and it just kind of... No, see, it smoked me all the way out. I was like, girl, no. See? Nope. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. Girl, no. Take it off. No. And then I, th I tried to blend it. <laughs> I tried to blend it with another shade. Girl, you got to take that base of it off first because it's too dark. No. No. I did not like, um, I didn't like 
either one. Now, I might need to try that other one by itself instead of trying to mix it with that dark brown. But I told you no. So I'm taking that off. Yeah, that did not work for me. So I came in with um, a e.l.f. like lipstick gloss. That is um, one of my favorite. I got the I don't know the color, but it's like a deep um, burgundy e.l.f. e.l.f. brand. Baby, I love it. And I don't know what make me what made me grab those lipsticks to begin with. But uh, you'll see it. See, isn't that cute? Now, yes. Yes, girl. Yes. And I need to see can I find uh, some more of that because I'm about out. And I love that color. It's a deep, if, if you ever remember... Avon Cherry Jubilee. That used to be the color. That what that color reminds me of. I remember my aunties and my mom. That was the color. The women in my neighborhood. Because Avon was a big thing then. And um, Cherry Jubilee. That was like a really pretty color. And that, that is what that color reminds me of. That cheer of Jubilee. So, I, I mean, that's the look. What do y'all think? Yes, no, maybe so. Yes, no, maybe so. That's the NYX uh, Matte Finishing Spray. Real makeup tutorial -ish. Come on, yes. Yes. You like? Do you like it? I love it. I think it is pretty. I think it is pretty. Be sure to comment, like, subscribe. Serve God, serve people. Love God, love people. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.